welcome to our channel. This is Brody, my white faced cockatiel, and my name is Stacy. And today we have a haul from Planet Pleasures that I'm going to do an unboxing for. But before we start the unboxing, I just want to say thank you for your support. And we would love if you would hit that subscribe button so that you can join our flock and watch more of our videos. And with that, let's get started. So, we have our package here. Oops, sorry, buddy. Oh gosh, that's his favorite place to sit. And then we have our packing list here with a thank you note on it. Planet Pleasures is one of my favorite companies to order toys from because the toys are made from natural materials so you don't have to worry about your bird ingesting anything toxic. Um, also, a lot of times they do free shipping, and every Sunday it seems they um, do like a 20% discount, so you can follow them on Facebook, and they drop coupon codes on there from time to time. Alright, and Brody is going to be our toy tester, as long as he's brave enough. So, this is our first toy here. This is for the cockatiels. It is called Bundle Stack Medium. I'm going to show it on the camera and then you can play with it some more. So that's what it looks like there. As you can see, Brody already wants to play with it. My birds always love the Planet Pleasures toys. So I like to buy a lot of my toys from them. And even when I go to the bird store, I tend to buy a lot of Planet Pleasures toys from there too. All right, you ready for the next one? Are you ready? Okay. And next we have one called Rattle One Layer Small. So it has a lot of this material for them to preen. It has these little stars and things for them to chew up. So this is also for the cockatiels. What? Do you like this one? I think we have another successful toy here. He likes that little star. All right, you ready to look at the next toy, buddy? There's more where that came from. Okay, let's look at the next one. And in case you're wondering, that's my African Grey in the background. Her name is Jackie. Okay, the, ne the next toy, okay? This next one I bought specifically for Brody because he loves the ring toy, which is just three woven rings together. This one is different because there's like a texture to it. So I thought maybe he'd like this and it has the little bit on the bottom for them to preen. It's a nice long toy to hang up in the cage or on a play stand. But this one I bought especially for Brody. You ready to look at the next one? Yeah. You ready? Okay, we're, let's look at the next one. Yeah, oh he found the star that's on that one too. There's a little star. I don't think you can see it. All right, let's look at the next one. So the next one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna give this cock to the cockatiels or if I'll give it to my African Grey. It is a pretty big toy. This one, oh. The name of this toy was Wreath Rings Small, by the way. But this toy is like a little pinata toy. It's got a cute little face on it, a lot of material to preen at the bottom. And then just a lot of little bits here for them to chew up. 
So I might give this to my African Grey. I'm not 100% sure yet. What do you think? And the next toy is called Foraging Cylinders Small. So this toy here, once again, has a lot of material to print at the bottom. And then you can tuck um, seeds and different treats and things in here for them to have to forage out of it. And then they can also just simply tear it apart because that's what they like to do. So this is another one for the cockatiels. Oh, I know, I wanna kiss you too. But you're supposed to try the toy. Well, that's the tag. If I knew that the tags were going to be the best part of the toy, I could have saved myself a lot of money and just got tags. He likes that tag. Okay. Well, we'll move on to the next one. I didn't realize, or I guess I didn't remember how much I had bought from there because there's still quite a bit in this box. Um, this toy is called Mini Square with P-I-L-I -I shell. Um, this one was really cheap. It was only a couple dollars, so I just threw it in the cart because I figured it'd be a good one to get the cockatiels. Just because sometimes there's little corners in the cage that you want to hang a toy, but you can't fit a very big toy there. So you can tuck like just like a small toy like this on it. So it doesn't take up a lot of room, but it's something fun to play with. And it helps fill the empty gaps in the cage. That's the tag, buddy. Okay, why don't I hold it by the tag? Can I see that? Can I see it? Okay, but can I see it? Okay. He likes whatever that P-I-L-I -I material is. Peely or Piley? I don't know what it's called. But he likes it. I actually have a perfect spot in his cage where I like to hang small toys like this. So I might have got more than one though, I can't remember. Oh, sorry. He's so pretty. Such a good boy. Okay, let's look at the next toy. Yeah, I was right. I bought two of that toy, so just so you can see a close-up. It has more stars on it, which he really likes those. And he seems to really like this, like, reminds me of, like, a type of wood of some kind. This one I bought for the cockatiels as well. Um, the tag is missing from it, so I'll have to look up on the website the name of this toy and I'll just insert it up here. You want to play with this one? Oh, it hangs like this. That's just kind of like, they're supposed to be little flowers with lots of little bits to chew on. And then this is all woven here so they can shred that. And it's nice and bright and colorful. And it's a good sized toy. It's pretty big. So this can be one of the big main toys that I hang in any of the cockatiel cages. You like that? I could also hang this on one of the play stands as well, that way they can all play with it. But even if I put it in one bird's cage, I like to, hi Jackie, I like to cycle the toy so that way everybody gets to try the toy. Alright, this is a toy for Jackie, my African Grey. It is huge. I have smaller versions of this toy for the cockatiels, 
like I said, very big. This one is called Silk Cascade at Large. See it? I have several small versions of this for the cockatiels, but I just thought it might be something that my African Grey would really like, and it's nice and bright and colorful. There's actually also like bits of wood in between the layers too. Can I show? It's like that little yellow thing there is wood. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to offend you. You wanna play with it? Uh oh, there's the tag. Okay. Alright, let's look at another one. Let's look at another one. There's still more. This is for the cockatiels as well. Um, I believe I got this one for Brody because it's one of his favorites and his current one is pretty shredded up so he could use a replacement. This one, it's called Dreamcatcher I think. Yeah, Dreamcatcher Small. So it's got a lot of woven bits here, has those stars on it that he likes so much and then the little bits to preen as well. He's a really good toy tester, huh? You're a very good toy tester. I love you too. All right, so let's look at let's look at the next one. Cause you're gonna get this one in your cage. You can play with it a whole bunch more. Okay. And then I also got a very big version of it for Jackie, the African Grey. So this is just called. Dreamcatcher Large, it's just a bigger version of what I just showed you. So it'll be perfect for my African Grey, especially because she's a feather picker. So this will help keep her busy. He really likes the edges of those circles. All right, and this is the last toy. This one is called Fiesta Medium. So it has this star here it's like layered so they can tear it apart and it'll break off into layers it has more of the stars on it another one of those shapes and then a big star down here lots to preen and then just lots for them to pull on and chew on so this is for the cockatiels as well Well, you can't have all the toys. I have other cockatiels too that'll want to play. But you can have the tags if you want from all of them. Play with those as much as you like. That's the company's logo there on that tag he's chewing on. So definitely check out Planet Pleasures. Their toys are excellent. Like I said, natural materials, so you don't have to worry about your bird ingesting anything toxic. There's no bells on anything to worry about or bits of plastic. Even the tag is fun, as demonstrated by little Brody here. Um, but like I said, definitely check out their Facebook because they tend to post coupon codes on there. They pretty well do sales every Sunday. I'm on their like news list. On their website, I put in my email address so I get coupon codes in my email. So you can do that too if you are not a user of Facebook. Alright. I know. Alright, so that's the end of that unboxing of Planet Pleasures. I hope you enjoyed watching Brody test out the toys. He's a very good toy tester, I would say. What do you think? What do you guys think? Is he a good toy tester? I think you are. Yeah, you're a good boy. And so pretty. Yeah. 
Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe so you can join our vlog and watch more of our videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we will see you next time.